Beautiful Scorpios, what to do, my loves? I will all this peace, well, and beautiful in your world. I hope everyone is enjoying Scorpio season, enjoying your solar returns. Happy belated to anyone who has celebrated. As you all know, I too am a Scorpio, and I enjoyed my solar return. It was absolutely beautiful. It was very special. I've been creating a lot. I've been in a very creative space. I've been getting a lot of downloads. I will. You all are having a bliss day. If today is your solar return, look or flip, flipped over. And then I hope that you all enjoy. So we have the fertility card, just as I was speaking about creating and being in that creative space. We have a card, fertility, a stara. So some of you are absolutely in um you're 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 in the divinity you know you you recognize the divinity of that divine feminine divine masculine energy is creation so some of you could absolutely be pregnant with child or there is a new love ship that is developing i see this two you know this passionate couple here kind of embracing one another it's like they're both like the passion is overtaking them there's a deep chemistry and connection so i feel like um a lot of you are coming into union someone that's being initiated is coming into union we have baby face um never keeping secrets and so there's a lot of reference of baby fertility child so maybe some of you are in fact very um you know you're um with child so congratulations. Maybe you've just found out that you're pregnant with child. Maybe some of you, your children are of significance right now. Um, or maybe you're just, you know, creating something, birthing new ideas, birthing new projects, just in a very creative space. That's that divine feminine energy. So you're embracing the divinity of the divine feminine energy. So um, this is a general reading for my beloved Scorpio. So that means eat the fish. Spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by, beloveds. Do not try to force a story to be your story. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine time we intended for you all to do so. So welcome to everyone who may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. And I am also clairaudient. So I incorporate music into the readings and they tend to blend in very beautifully. I am also an empath and an intuitive. Your energy is very powerful right now. I feel like it has a lot to do with us in Scorpio season. We're just really channeling in our inner wizard, our inner witch, our inner goddess, our inner healer, shaman, light worker. I feel like you're very intuitive, very psychic. There's a lot of cerebral activity at this time. And I feel like you're owning your power, you're in your power, you're standing in your power. And your scene is very powerful. And that's why you're attracting, you know, what you desire. This is a master manifester. You're like magnetically a drawing in and attracting what you want. So this is beautiful. So before we delve into the reading, I'm going to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mo to be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So we have baby face playing, like I said, never keeping secrets. So someone is, um, what he's saying is, I'm never keeping secrets. I'm never telling lies. I only want to be with you. So someone is going to come in and confess that they want to be with you. Someone is going to confess. This is someone that may have been dishonest in the past. You know, maybe someone was not telling you the truth. This is a bonus message as I just pulled it out. We have your energy here in the opening. What did I say about y'all being very powerful? So this death card speaks to you just wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle. And it was a very painful cycle, you know, because it felt like a death. You know, this is something that happened. It's a sudden upheaval, a sudden change. Discovering someone was keeping secrets, lying. And so now they're coming back saying, I'm never going to keep a secret again because you're walking away. You're finalizing something. I feel like you're learning to protect yourself. You're protecting yourself from someone or something. So you've walked away from something. And you're letting them know like they lost one. 
because we got Lauren Hill playing Lost Ones. So this person lost you. You've death this death card. You're owning your power. You know what you want. You know this is the overall energy. So something has ended. They've lost you for good because you have since evolved. You've transformed. You've grown, and you're now owning your power, and you're protecting yourself, protecting your heart. So you're not just letting anybody back in. So we have clearance. Look at that. So this is the energy of the person you're attracting is clearance. So I feel like they're clearing something out of their life to make way and room for you. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this clearance is speaking to, you know, a path being opened, an opportunity being opened. Someone is also clearing house, clearing space. They could be decluttering their space. They could be purging um, a circumstance. Maybe they're moving out of a home. You know, maybe they're packing up somebody's shit and telling them get the out. You know what I'm saying? But this is the person you're attracting. So someone is clearing up some space. And I feel like you're both mirroring one another because you're also going through some sort of ending. You know, it's like a completion of a cycle. We have guidance. So you're here to seek guidance, to get that stamp of, you know, that confirmation you know, just to, to confirm what you're feeling, to confirm what you're seeing, what you already know intuitively. So if any of these cards show up, then, you know, definitely um, this message is for you. That's like, um, you know, that's like confirmation that you were seeking. And so far, we have the clearance card is here. So the clearance card, we just pulled that out. See the clearance card and it's here. So if you were seeking guidance or seeking some sort of confirmation, um, then that's absolutely this message that comes out today is going to be for you. But someone is is that you're attracting is clearing out some space. They're clearing out their space. They're clearing house. They're getting rid of something energetically to make room for the new. And I feel like you're the new. You're the new that they're going to be making room for. And with lost ones, I feel like somebody lost them. Just like you. The, the, that's why I was picking up like there's a mirroring effect here. So someone lost you and they lost the person that you're attracting. So this, there's a sense that, um, you know what I'm saying, there's endings, completions. So how is this person that Scorpio is attracting going to feel about our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. So foundation, they're going to feel like you ground them. They're going to feel like the two of you are made for one another. They're going to feel like you're very grounded, balanced, aligned. Like you um, you also could be at a distance. And we have homeland. So you're going to feel like home. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel like soul food to them. It's just it's like you, you're going to, you, you're very domestic, you know, very grounded, very loving, very nurturing. That's why they're clearing up space because they're making room for something solid, stable, secure. That's beautiful. And we have homecoming again. So you got homeland and homecoming. This person is coming toward you. So they're letting somebody know, like, you just lost one. You lost me. You know, because they're clearing house. They're letting that go. And they're making room for you because they're, going, they're returning home. You know, home is where the heart is. Hearth. So they feel like with you, you're like home. You're soul food. They feel like there's passion. There's love. You make a house a home also. So you may know how to cook very well. They love the way you cook. They love the way you keep house. You may have a beautiful home. You may like nice things. Very luxurious home. Your home is like a sanctuary. So you put a lot of time and energy into your home. They feel you're very domestic. Very grounded. Very practical. Very resourceful. So what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? What's hidden in the energy to divine spirit of love and light? Look at that guidance. So you all are seeking guidance or maybe this is the person that's coming in as they're seeking some sort of guidance. Maybe they're going to a tarot reader or maybe they're going to a psychic or someone. But there's some guidance. Maybe they're even speaking to an elder in their family, you know, and they're being told to just, you know, to trust their feeling, trust their intuition in terms of what direction to go. But somebody's seeking guidance. Look at that, the awakening. And they're going to receive some sort of clarity. And we have Beyonce playing me, myself, and I. 
So this person is absolutely seeking guidance because they're so used to being single. You know, maybe right now they're single. They're enjoying their solitude. But there's a great awakening. Somebody's having some sort of awakening or an epiphany, illumination. This awakening is, you know, awakening to the truth. You know, awakening to the truth of the depth or the seriousness of the relationship, the connection. You know what I'm saying? Because with this seeking guidance, someone is going to have an awakening. It's going to have like that epiphany. Something they were, like I said, in this reading, some of you may receive that. Because with this awakening, I do feel like some of you all have really um, experienced a spiritual awakening, if you will, already. You know? And I feel like you're very... Um, I feel like you have, um, you're really embracing, you know, your power, you know, you're no longer fearful of being alone. I feel like a lot of you have had to learn to be individuals, to stand erect, you know, to learn to stand on your own because you've, you've learned your independence is a foundation for your stability, your success, your security. You know, and that alone, that 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 um, wealth of knowledge has somehow awakened you to, you know, who you actually are. And I see these two cows, you know, and cows in certain cultures are seen as very um, powerful animal totems. They're seen as very spiritual animal totems. Hold on one moment. My cat is in there letting me know she's hungry. Hold on. Okay, pardon me. So you have this, um, it's like these two cows. So it's like you're awakening to the fact that, um, you know, what's hidden in the energy is you're awakening to the fact that you have like a twin flame soulmate, a yin to your yang. Because there's two. So these two are it's like they're made for one another. You know, they're kind of like chilling together. It looks like they're like joined at the hip, joined at the neck. So it's like a love union, a partnership. Someone's concealing their feelings. And this is the outcome. Someone who's concealing their feelings is probably going to reveal their feelings. See that? The passion. They're concealing their passion, their deep love. Someone is definitely going to, um, you know, because I feel like they're single. They've been single for a while, so they're kind of enjoying their solitude. They're, you know, being individual. You know, maybe they were in a codependent relationship in the past. But I feel like there's something changing because someone's concealing something. And not revealing it. And I feel like it has a lot to do with their attraction. You know, their attraction towards you. So what is the outcome? Thank you, spirit. What is the outcome? Spring. So spring is sprung. To me, the springtime is new year. So something new is going to manifest during the springtime. I feel like someone may reach out. Someone may confess their feelings. Um, this is the birthing of something new. You know, the seeds that you plant... In the you know the winter the autumn they they start to blossom so something will be blossoming and it's all about divine timing and we have common um, come close so this person may you know may feel close to you they may come to you you know during the springtime like I said that is a time when things manifest so it's all about divine timing you know good things take time to create and what you the seeds that you plant you know you reap what you sow. This is a spiritual um, connection here because I feel like the ancestors, I already saw um, the intention and then I saw, I see this card, guardian. So it's almost like with this familiar, I feel like your ancestors are bringing a familiar energy to you and you're going to know intuitively, you're going to know instinctually that that person was sent to you. I feel like there's going to be a sense of familiarity when this person comes close, when this person comes in, because I feel there's a sense of mirroring, you know, mirroring one another. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from the um, numerology. So on the split, we have follow your dreams and we have nature. So some of you all, um, you know, maybe you're getting downloads when you take your nature walks and you're having downloads about, you know, some of the things you enjoy doing. You know, some of the hobbies that you may have put, you know, put off, 
because you were in a relationship or because you became mothers or because you have a job you know now the divine is like encouraging you to follow your dreams you know follow your passion even you know something you enjoy doing could lead to some level of stability and security financial freedom for you but there's some sort of awakening here for you all because that's what's hidden in the energy is this awakening so divine spirit of love and light all right thank you spirit let's cut the deck and we're going to clarify these messages with the numerology bottom of the deck was and so we have um it says creativity so a lot of you channeled your inner divine feminine you know like I said, the divinity of the divine feminine is creation. So you, a lot of you were creating. A lot of you were, you know, channeling whatever that pain was you felt from that betrayal, that death, you know, that ending of that relationship. I feel like you channeled it into something creative. And it somehow has propelled you to, um, you know, receive some sort of recognition. It's given you a lot of strength. I feel like it's going to bring forth a lot of um, wish fulfillment, a lot of manifestation. But there is something creative that you're doing. And I feel like whatever you're birthing that's new, it's going to be very successful, very abundant. It's going to bring um, a lot of attention. It's also helped you to grow, to heal, you know, because you've channeled that energy in a very positive way. And so by not focusing on, you know, the X or that toxicity and focusing on the self and healing and building your strength, you know, um, it definitely has led to, you know, you going through some sort of growing pain. So you're also building your, your uh, psychic strength, you know, you're highly intuitive, very telepathic, very in tune. I made this wand, this magic wand this weekend. Um, I found a staff during one of my nature walks and I created, I wish you could see it better, but I created my own um, powerful magic wand. And this is a black tourmaline wrapped in um, copper wire. And I have Palo Santo and black tourmaline beads. And this is what it looks like. And it was very fun making this. I, I really, like I said, I, I just create. I'm very creative. Um, and I feel like that's what you all are doing, just tapping into your creativity because it's your divinity as a divine feminine. And so with MF Doom, all caps, I definitely feel like, you know, with this, um, you know, with this uh, personal growth, someone definitely learned, you know, uh, by a very gloomy situation because it's, the name of this is um, MF Doom mad villain and it's called all caps so i feel like someone learned somebody was just a liar you know because all cap you know they'd be like well you know the saying nowadays everybody be like no cap no cap but all caps is saying that there was cap so the captain is like lying and being deceptive you know embellishing stretching the truth so that's what this person is clearing out that you're attracting and this is this they're trusting their intuition. They're learning to trust their intuition when it comes to unsavory people, when it comes to dealing with people who are um, very sneaky, snakish, you know, low vibrational. It's like they're definitely um, trusting that. And with fertility. Oops. OK, now I'm getting it because I forgot this was the bonus message and this I have to clarify the bonus message first and remember this is when I was speaking to you know the divinity of divine feminine and masculine is creation and so this is absolutely the message the divine told me to put that card here because I completely forgot about it because I put it over to the side but this is the same energy so fertility creating creating new ways of thinking creating new ways of um, you know moving forward with a project this is also speaking to some of you may be pregnant with child. So creativity, you know, that is the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine. Personal growth, that's what the death is. So this is going through those tower moments and learning, growing, evolving, leveling up, learning how to navigate certain situations and scenarios, certain relationships, friendships, toxic connections, and growing from it, listening and trusting your intuition more being more cerebral you know so why is the death card here 
for um, our beloved Scorpios. See that? Compassion. The 99. So being compassionate with yourself, regardless of what has happened, not judging yourself, not judging the other person. We have Anthony Hamilton playing best of me. So I feel like, you know, somebody didn't get the best of you, even though they betrayed you, even though there was some sort of toxic um, connection. I feel like they didn't get the best of you. I feel like you're learning to be more compassionate because you realize that, you know, um, hurt people hurt people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, when people show you who they are, you're now going to believe them. But you're not judging yourself anymore. You're not judging the situation. You're not judging anyone else's journey. You're just focused. You're here for the ride. You're learning that, you know, this is a part of your destiny was to go through these difficult experiences because it's made you stronger. And it's also helped you to tap into your creativity. It's helped you to discover, you know, your passion again. You know what you're passionate about and, and you discovering your passion and discovering who you are, then you will come into union exactly with the people that you're meant to be in union with. So you're more compassionate. You've made enormous change. This is the highest number of change. So you've grown more compassionate, more caring because you didn't let anybody get the best of you. And that's why you're going to embark on a brand new beginning, a whole new junction and phase and stage in your life because you've completed a cycle. And this new beginning is going to be um, very successful, happy, joyful, you know, and it's something um, that you're going to be doing in the craft. I feel like you're going to start living out your soul's mission, you know, your life's purpose, because you now have that bigger. You now have that that strength, that determination, that drive. I also feel like someone that you're attracting is going to. You know, they're they're clearing up so that they can have a new beginning so that they can make room for the new because they their energy, the person you're attracting has clearance. So they're clearing up something karmic, you know, some old energy. They're getting rid of the old so that they can make room for the new. And you're a part of that new. I feel there's going to be a lot of passion, attraction. You know, this number one is a new beginning, a new start. And so they're going to give you the best of them. So person you're attracting, how they're feeling intuition they're highly intuitive trust your intuition but they're very intuitive so they're going to know they're going to know that you're you know you're good for them they're going to follow their dream they could see you as a wish fulfillment they could definitely see you as a wish fulfillment because they're going to trust what they feel intuitively you know this 22 breaks down to four that's like the 11 11 energy frequency and so this 22 definitely is telling me this could be like a soul made a twin flame and they're going to give you the best of them because they do see you as like that wish fulfillment. They're going to follow their dreams, their passion, because they've already cleared house. They cleaned house. They're getting rid of stuck and stagnant energy. They're releasing cutting ties, soul ties, karmic cords, yokes, and they're breaking generational curses. So there's a sense of clearance, clearing out the old to make way for the new. And they're trusting their intuition. Their intuition is, is telling them to do this. They see you as wish fulfillment here. We're about to clarify how they feel about you. They feel that you're a foundation, that you can provide a foundation for them. And so we have communication. So this person will communicate. See that? They see you as wish fulfillment. So they're going to communicate that you like your wish fulfillment, that you are special. They see you like an earth angel. They also see you as very maternal, very paternal. They could see you as that loving, nurturing, caring soul, very empathic very in tune they could see you following your dreams living your truth being fearless with bit we have bitch don't kill my vibe playing by um kendrick lamar so what's hidden in the energy is you're seeking guidance because maybe you feel that there's some you know low vibrational energy around you trying to kill your vibe trying to steal your joy trying to block your blessings trying to block a new beginning but i feel like you're still moving forward passionately Nothing's going to stop what you have going on because, you, you, you know, you're like, move, bitch. And you're seeking guidance. So you're trusting what you're receiving in the messages. You know, maybe you're doing your own tarot readings. But I feel like you're you're receiving um, confirmation that you have a brand new start, a brand new beginning. And with bitch, don't kill my vibe, I feel like you're blocking out anything old that has the potential of trying to block your blessings or steal your joy you know what I'm saying? So you're like, you're focused on the new. So why is tarot cards guardian here for what's hidden in the energy? Spirituality. So you're seeking, um, you know, wise counsel. 
You're listening and trusting your intuition. You're highly intuitive. So this is like, you know, like I said, some of y'all may do your own tower readings or some of you are here, you know, to get that confirmation. So this is confirmation that what you're feeling, sensing, that nudge, that gut instinct, trust it. A lot of you are highly intuitive. You're very much in the practice. So you could be healers, shamans, light workers, clairvoyants, clairaudience. You could be intuitives. You could be psychics. Um, I said psychics, but you could be absolutely like, um, you know, cardamancers, scryers, you know, but you're in the practice, I feel. And some of you could be doing your own tarot readings. So far, um, we have two cards in the reading that have come out. So we have the foundation card and we also have the clearance So those two cards have shown. So the so far, those two cards have shown. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have that card. So, and that's right there. See? So this is confirmation, double confirmation or triple confirmation, whatever you want to call it, that you know the messages are for you. So if you were here seeking confirmation, um, the divine is saying, trust your intuition. And make the changes necessary. There's some things changing. But I also feel there's divine intervention. Divine download. You're being spiritually guided. So trust your intuition. You know what you need to do. And don't. And when it comes to a particular person. That could be an energy vampire. Or someone who's like. You know. Incubus succubus energy. Um, just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying. Keep it pushing. Don't let anybody block your blessings. Or steal your joy. Um, we have. Um adventure here and we're about to clarify the awakening so there's going to be a lot of of exciting things taking place um because you've had this great awakening this grand epiphany this aha moment and i feel like you know with this 55 that's 10 so i feel like it's the end of you know just kind of sitting stuck and stagnant because this is what's in the um What's hidden in the energy. So someone's going through like some sort of startling metamorphosis. They're having some sort of awakening. And I feel like with these two cows. Because cows are seen as sacred in a lot of um, cultures. Um, and so I feel like someone is awakening to um, this sacred connection. This sacred union. Sacred connection that they have with you. Because I see these two cards. So there's like a dual energy. So this is someone who may see you as the yang to their yin, yin to their yang. And I feel like this is, you're in for a very adventurous ride. So why is awakening here for what's hidden in the energy? See that? I can't make this up. Domestic harmony. So there's a synergy. There's going to be happiness. There's going to be emotional fulfillment, contentment. A lot of communication. Clear and concise communication. The two of you are going to have some deep dives. Because with this communication card, this is how they feel about you. Is they feel like they could speak to you about anything. Like they could open up to you about anything. And then we have this uh, domestic harmony. And we all know that you know trust and communication are very intricate. They're very important to have healthy relationships. Personal growth. Because you've done your due diligence. Because you have healed from some sort of painful loss. Some sudden end. You know some from a painful breakup. And you've done your healing. You've healed at a soul level. You've grown, you've matured, and now you're in this, you know, energy of, you know, really being very intuitive, you know, very psychic. And we have Nicole Ray and um, Jay-Z. Someone has, you know, a lot of regrets, and it's because you have grown, you know, what didn't kill you make you stronger. You know, and like I said, you know, the spring, this is divine timing. You know, maybe there's sometimes you think about things and you have you have regrets of how things may have turned out. But I feel, you know, with this here, um, there's a new beginning. This 46 reduces to um, 10, 10 reduces to one. So because you are whole, you know, in and of yourself, um, I feel like you're attracting someone who's also going to be whole, who's also going to. You know, love, you know, speak your love language, be attentive, be communicative, be loyal. And I don't feel like you're going to regret any, you know, anything. You're going to feel like, you know, everything happened for a reason. 
you've learned to be an individual, to be independent because that former connection was codependent. So that person relied heavily on you. And so you didn't receive what you needed. So you're learning to live with regrets. That's what she's saying. You're learning to live with, you know, maybe the regret of a relationship failing. But I feel like it has landed you to being the strongest version of yourself that you've ever been. So why is the spring here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Why is spring here? Thank you, spirit. Completion. So, yeah, just like I said, um, divine timing. You know, you reap what you sow. So in the springtime, something will be complete. These these seeds that you're you're sowing, you know, that you've been sowing, they will start blossoming and harvesting and this will be complete. So you you will be in complete union, harmony with a partner. And I feel like, you know, effort is going to be needed, you know, for stability, emotional investment, longevity, you know, in order to achieve that, you have to invest. You have to make the effort. I feel someone's also going to make the effort because they're going to see you as someone. Yeah, with teaching and learning. You've been learning. That's what I was picking up. You've been learning a lot of karmic lessons. And because you've complete, you've successfully completed those lessons and learned to love that self, heal that self. You've learned to respect that self. You've learned to demand your respect. You know, you've learned to ask for what you need to delegate. Now there's a sense of someone coming in who's also a very complete, whole individual. So you're attracting someone who's also whole, who's also um, on the frequency, you know, on that same vibration. So let's see. So it says master your craft, sharpen your sword. So that's exactly what you all were doing, you know. You started to transmute the pain, the hurt, the trauma, the negativity, and you started to... You know, channel that energy into something artistic or creative. And you've been mastering. You've been in a very studious energy. Learning. You know, not focusing on the problems. You know, learning to live with the regrets. You're very protected. Spiritually protected. Spiritually guided. No weapons formed against y'all shall prosper. And I feel like that's one of the things um, that your person is also doing. They're fortifying their boundaries. You know, they're healing. And someone is fearing rejection also. So they have a sense of being very reserved, not communicating um, exactly what they feel. You know, someone could have been superficial in the past, an attention whore. And that could be why they're fearing rejection, because maybe they tried to play you in the past. Maybe they, you know, had a whole bunch of options and, you know, they couldn't see the potential. But now they can. And now they're, you know, they're clearing it up. They're clearing you know, even that perspective, that ideology, you know, even thinking that way, they're, they're, you know, changing and they're trusting their intuition more. They're more stable. They're more balanced mentally, emotionally. So we have mindset. Someone is definitely attracted to you physically. This person is sexually attracted to you. Someone also could have been mind fucking you. There could have been a, a lot of mind fuckery, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of manipulation. But I feel like, you know, you're still compassionate, still caring. You're not judging anyone because, you know, we all have our own battles. And someone is, you know, they're going through their own battle, you know, and this is nothing that you could do. Um, we have drowned deep hula. So someone was drowning emotionally. And I feel like you were drowning, you know, because you were in a connection where someone was kind of gaslighting and manipulating emotionally, psychologically manipulating. And so the divine has taught you to be compassionate. To not judge, to not turn into that scorned individual, to not be vengeful. I feel like the divine was like literally teaching you, you know, how to be more compassionate. Learning that, you know, people become products of their environment and they're also, you know, hurt people will hurt people. So this person that was trying to manipulate you, mind fuck you, they may now be experiencing that. But you realize that you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So this was a part of your transformation is earning, you know, this, 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 um, or owning, I should say, owning this, that you are a miracle, that you deserve the best, that you don't deserve to be mindful, played with, toyed with, you know, and you could still, you know, love those who hurt you from a distance. 
So, yeah, you were drowning emotionally initially. So why is um, clearance here and intuition for the person Scorpio is attracting, divine spirit? So someone is absolutely looking for that happily ever after, which is why they're clearing house and making, ray, making way and making room for you. Because they're focused on long-term commitment. This is someone that's going to be your rock. Someone that's going to be willing to compromise, settle down, make an honest woman or man out of you, bear your children, birth your children, give you children. Like, this is someone that wants to plant seeds, roots, build a nucleus, have a family, looking for that happily ever after. So they want that happy house, happy spouse. You know, this is that type of energy. And that's what they're looking for. And with Drown Deep Hula by Maxwell, I feel like this person is going to be like really overcome, you know, to with their emotions for you. With mommy issues, daddy issues, they may see that you might be having some difficulty with the mother or father of your child. Or this could just be speaking to, you know, this person is healing from, you know, some sort of familial traumas, you know, clearing that up healing at a soul level, breaking generational curses, hexes, you know, cutting karmic cords. And so they're more trusting now, taking their power, taking control, finding emotional, psychological equilibrium because they're clearing up their mommy issues, daddy issues. Um, they could also see you are doing the same. You know, maybe they felt like you've been emotionally... Um, taken advantage of as well so we have um how they feel about you is it says you have people who are in secret competition with you keep your business to yourself so maybe they feel like you know someone is in competition um they have a lot of competitors that they're going to have to um go against to come into you because i feel like you know they feel that you are a catch you know you're like wish fulfillment they're like in awe of you and your talents and your strength. Um, maybe they see you, you know, maybe they see you as a great communicator. Maybe a lot of you may have social media and you may express yourself on those platforms and they love the way that you think. They see that you're very grounded, you know, you're very stable, so you're independent, self sufficient, self reliant. I'm hearing self made. They also know that, you know, there's a lot of people that could be um, biting for your attention. And so they may feel like, you know, there's a lot of competition around you. Or they may feel like, you know, somebody from their past could be trying to compete with you. Um, the grass was greener on the other side because they watered it is hidden in um, what's hidden in the energy. We're about to clarify that. So some of y'all were seeking some confirmation about someone who could have abandoned y'all. Um, and I feel like you already knew the answers because the spirituality tells me that y'all are already highly intuitive very psychic so whatever guidance you're seeking from this reading this is your confirmation somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side um they thought you know is the key word um and they put a lot of time and energy um but somebody may pop back up on the grid because what's hidden in the energy is someone is now realizing like damn um you know it, it necessarily it wasn't um, as green. Remember, we saw that attention whore. So someone needed validation by having multiple suitors. They were non-committal. You know, they wanted to be the player and they wanted to have their fun. They didn't make enough effort. You know what I'm saying? And and this is a part of the growing pains. You know, someone had to. Someone. You know, at the same time, you're learning. You're 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 also be. You know, there's a teacher and learning aspect to every relationship. You know, so you can be the student and the teacher all in the same, you know, but I feel like with self-discipline just underneath the both of these cards, this was about learning to love thyself, learning to prioritize your needs over that of someone else's, learning to make that inner change, you know, changing internally, you know, changing the way you allowed people to treat you. Because you teach people how to treat you ultimately. We have L.O. Cool J playing Hey Lover. So I do feel like, um, you know, there's someone coming in with this Hey Lover. Because um, what's hidden in the energy. And I feel like this person is also going to be very spiritual. They could also be into uh, the metaphysical, the occult, into esoteric information. They could also be a tarot reader for, you know, for all you know. They could be a psychic. But they have some ability to tap into, you know... Their Christ consciousness, if you will, 
Um, and maybe some of you all, like I said, intuitively you knew somebody was creeping, you knew somebody chose another person, and you didn't have any concrete evidence. Um, and I feel like maybe that's going to come to light. But with Hey Lover, uh, you have new love incoming. And this person is going to be very spiritual. So why is guidance and spirituality here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. See that? So you, you've discovered somebody was lying. And you knew that intuitively. So somebody was definitely lying. This 77 reduces to 14. 14 reduces to 5. So you knew somebody was communicating some untruths. They was lying out the freaking forked tongue. They was lying. They was slithering, snakish. They was embellishing. Some of them was just straight out, straight out pathologically lying to you. But intuitively, you knew this. And that's the guidance that some of y'all was seeking. So you wanted to know if somebody was creeping and sneaking and snaking around. Well, yes, they are. And, and you knew that already. But you were seeking confirmation because the guidance card is here. And it's coming out in the reading. So someone wasn't being honest. They weren't being forthcoming. And it's that same attention whore. That same person that needed you know validation from outside sources so with hey lover this person was you know you know kind of an in and out flighty you know going wherever the wind blew them you know this was an attention hope that an attention whore a super hoe you know so somebody who needs the attention of other people okay there's too many cards i'm not taking 45 billion cards i'm gonna put those back in there and give the cards a bang bang boogie so let me get one more message so why um is this line as the truth ain't in you why is this line as the truth ain't in you? Thank you, spirit, here for Scorpios. See that? I can't make this shit up. Play a player from the Himalaya. Somebody thought that the grass was greener on the other side, and so they was trying to play the field. Some of y'all was looking for this confirmation. You already knew because they're showing that you're spiritual. You're highly spiritual, and a lot of you go to tarot cards to seek guidance or to receive that confirmation. This is your confirmation. So some of y'all, you know, wanted to know if somebody, what they was doing, what's hidden in the energy, is they still creeping, sneaking, and snaking, you know, and they, they, you know, pulling up on people, hey, lover, you know, so they, they have multiple lovers, um, and they're, look at this, <laughs> this energy won't leave, this is what's hidden in the energy, so trust your intuition when it comes to someone coming in from your past, because whoever that person is, you know, they're superficial, and they're fugazi. The divine is telling you focus your, your you know your attention your you know where your attention goes energy flows so master your craft sharpen your sword stay in this creative energy stay in this fertile energy because this is how you manifest as well you know you manifest what you desire by staying in that and that that energy of creation so why is um awakening domestic harmony here for what's hidden in the energy divine spirit of love and light so this is a past person and this is a see that i want to hear your voice again so some of y'all may be already acquainted you know you may already know this person there may be some history with someone that's coming in this person definitely is someone that you have not spoken to because they're like i want to hear your voice again i miss you and this is someone that you can have complete domestic harmony with so this tells me that the two of you like like i said y'all speak the same love language you know, and this awakening, somebody is awakening to these feelings because this is what's hidden. So you got two people, two suitors. One is Fufu because they still on this player shit. They still, you know, they still playing and they still trying to dupe you in the process. A player and somebody who lying, you're not you you're not supposed to be matched with a spiritual being. You know what I'm saying? You, you go find another player, another hoe, and y'all go play and hold together. But leave the spiritual being, Scorpio, alone. And it was just 43, 43, that's 7, 7 again. So this, you're a spiritual being, and, and you got this energy here that's trying to cling on to you. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be a person's energy, person you're attracting. They could have, you know, the sneaky energy because, remember, they had the clearance card. But you also have the death, which is also like a clearance. It's like... You know, reinventing yourself after, you know, the destruction of something. So someone's absolutely, you know, and, and look, we got tweet play in my place. So someone is definitely, you know, they may invite you over to their place because they want to hear your voice again. So somebody may send you a little message and be like, look, I miss you. 
and y'all both were going through some sort of karmic ending completion this is the world card in my deck and it says as the world turns so a lot of you have gained a different perspective you've learned a lot you have a deeper more profound understanding and knowledge of self you're in spiritual alignment that's why there's an awakening that's taking place between you and your person because i feel like you're triggering them and i feel like this person may you know pop up out of the blue and invite you to their home next thing you know y'all gonna be moving in because you have domestic harmony so whatever ending is denoting a new beginning this person is going to reach out that's why we have communication they want to talk to you because how they feel about you is communication they feel you're a great communicator they feel like they can have deep conversations and they want to do just that but i also feel like this person sees that you've grown you've matured you know and with this nine completion you've completed a cycle you know this is you know the completion you know everything come in full circle and so when you complete a cycle, there's a lot of wish fulfillment that comes in, you know, comes into play. So let's see what's coming in. Why is the spring completion here for what's coming uh, for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Why is the spring and completion card here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck. We see that you're in a very protective bubble. Um, you don't want to be distracted, disturbed. You won't want nobody messing with you. You got a lot of messages. So you know not to settle for less because you've already established healthy boundaries by cutting off people, places, things, circumstances, ideas, ideologies, habits, behaviors that no longer serve you. Which is why you're now more compassionate because you understand people know not what they do. So now you are setting healthier boundaries. You're not you know, going to just settle for anyone. And the ancestors are very pleased with the work you've done. So this is just like that same energy of congratulations. Now there's going to be wish fulfillment. You've taken your power back. So you've prioritized your needs, wants, and desires. And you're not allowing anybody to distract you. A thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. So you're focused. you got your eyes on the prize. So you're planting new seeds. You know, you're focused on long-term commitment. So you're in a very protective space because you're completing and wrapping up a cycle. So you don't have any time to waste. You don't have any energy to give to anyone that's not on your frequency and vibration. And rightfully so. So let's clarify these messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. Alright. So this is a dope reading, y'all. So expect that message. I feel somebody is going to leave you a message. They're going to reach out to you. Because this is what's hidden in the energy. These two cards. Guidance and um, awakening. So somebody is absolutely awakening to the fact that they care about you. And I feel like they're going to invite you over to their place. You know. I feel like they're going to invite you over. I feel somebody's really up in their head. You know. Over this connection as well. Somebody that you may have had. Um, a dissolution of a marriage. Someone you was separated from. I feel like this person's really like regretting. You know, because remember, live with regrets. So now they have to re live with the regrets, you know, of, of cheating, lying, creeping, sneaking, you know, doing all type of fuckery. Just, just gaslighting, mind fucking for no reason. And I feel like it's because they're a product of their environment. Like I said, that's why the divine is, was teaching you compassion, you know. So you didn't get in your bag. You didn't, you know, be that. You didn't become that scorned individual or that malicious, you know, vengeful Scorpio that we all can be. I feel like because you've ascended and you've grown that you took the higher road. And so now people got to come up to your level if they want to meet you. You're no longer stooping down or stepping down off your throne to deal with the fucking peasants. You're not. So somebody's going to invite you over to their place. I definitely feel like there's going to be some conversations and a revelation of feelings. So at the bottom of the deck, we have this beautiful privileged lady. So you are the divine feminine. This is like the um, empress in this deck, in the Kipper deck. So straight out the gate, you know your worth, your value. Like I said, you've learned to be more compassionate because you know people know not what they do. But you've transformed into this energy because you're owning it. So you absolutely are a master manifester. You're very successful. You're very creative. You're very maternal. You're very domestic. You're down to earth. You're grounded. You're balanced. You're in alignment. You know how to master manifest what you want. And you're also beautiful, very attractive. I feel like others see you as attractive, see you as very beautiful, as nurturing. Someone is in 
a state of concern. You know, they're worrying, maybe because they feel like you're getting a lot of attention, maybe because you've turned your back on them and you're still self-sufficient, independent. You've absolutely learned to be an individual, you know, and you're enjoying your solitude. You know, you're having a whole lot of fun. Some of y'all went out and, and, and just did a whole complete makeover. You know, you're losing weight, you're dressing um you're dressing different or you're dressing up more. You're just loving on yourself. And we have um, Rihanna featuring future love. So someone loves you and they're concerned because now they're figuring this out a little too late. So why is clearance, intuition, and looking for that happily ever after? So why is clearance... Yeah, somebody is a little concerned because they're trying to... Maybe they're trying to figure out how to... Um, how to express this or reveal this or take action. So why is clearance? Thank you, spirit. So it says sudden wealth. So this person is 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 coming into some sort of money. You know, whoever you're attracting, they, they got some sort of coins. Or maybe they just see this union as, you know, a very wealthy union. But I do feel like this person is like very stable, you know. And maybe that's why someone was using them because there was a lot of, you know, financial success. Some of y'all may be seeing 777, 1111, 222, 999, 333, 1010. But I feel like there's um, someone is really financially stable. And that's, you know, why, you know, they're clearing house. You know, they're making room. Because they want to be able to be that rock, to be that support system, you know, and we have high honors. So they see you as someone that they could have a victory with, a breakthrough with, success, joy. There's a lot of communication telepathically, you know, because they want to communicate. And I feel like telepathically, intuitively, maybe even via your dreams, there's a, a sense of communication. They see this union as a victory. As I said, they know they could have the victory with you. They also see the cure in the spotlight, you know, that you're very successful. There's something you're doing that's bringing a lot of success with this love song. I feel this person also could see them having a future being married because this could be like a marriage ceremony of some sort, high honors. So this is like a marriage coming together, coming to into union. So why is um, foundation communication dreams and you have people in, who are in secret competition here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? Spirit of love and light. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light spirit. Thank you, spirit. And so we have message of concern. So, you know, they don't, they're unsure of how you're going to take their conversation because they know, you know, there's, they, they have to confess something or admit something or communicate something. I feel like they feel like the communication is going to change perhaps maybe the way you feel, you know. But this came out in the reverse, so I don't feel like they have a message of concern for you. I don't normally read reversals, but I feel like because it came out in reverse, that this is not going to be a message of concern, that they're going to actually admit how they feel. And it says love song here. So someone is going to admit their love for you. Unapologetic. Yeah, I feel like they see a victory with you. They they see, you know, love. And this is a mature man. So this person is very, very aware. They know what they want. This is a very learned individual. And I feel like, you know, you're the privileged lady. So you're also just as um, informed, just as wise, just as wealthy, you know, in terms of, you know, knowledge as well as you know just being a very learned individual and experienced very abundant and successful practical self-made this person is very abundant and we see that they have sudden wealth so they may have struck it big maybe they won some sort of settlement or they have some sort of will um inheritance but this person is um going to express something to you they're going to express something to you. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of jealousy and envy because there's a lot of competition. 
for your attention, biting for your attention. We have Damian Marley playing there for you. So this person will be there for you. This is the type of man that will be very caring, very supportive, very loving, very domestic, you know, someone very devoted, you know, and this person will change your perspective of that past person. You know, this is someone that was a player, non-committal, in and out, impulsive. So why is guidance, spirituality, player, and um, lying ass, the truth ain't in you for what's hidden in the energy? Judication. So whoever you're um, in separation from, whoever you have um, since divorced, whoever you no longer are with, this is that person. You, you've since left that person. I see that you left them. There could have been a third party with that 30. And I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of lessons. Maybe y'all had to go through a divorce proceeding, child care or child support. And I feel like, you know, this, this judge, there's like some sort of ruling in your favor. You know, someone is being, someone is being judged based off of their actions. This is someone that you lived with in a home, had a nucleus built you know, planted seeds, roots. Someone was indecisive, didn't know if they want to be in the house or wanted to be creeping out the house. Someone was definitely a stray cat or a dog. You know what I'm saying? And so some, you wasn't having it, Scorpio. Highly spiritual, highly in tune, highly intuitive. And so you 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 took your you took your gripes to spirit, and spirit said, "Leave that shit." And so you you took action. You planned, prepared, strategized. And you took action and, and, and proceeded with the divorce proceedings. And you may have moved outside of the home. So um, with this domestic harmony, you know, there, there was no domestic harmony anymore. Why is this awakening in domestic harmony? And I want to hear your voice again. We have great fortune. So you have a very fortunate future ahead of you. This is someone that is absolutely wish fulfillment. Because this 26 reduces to 8. And 8 is the um, star card in traditional Tarot. And remember, you have follow your dreams. So this person does, for how this person feels about you, is follow your dreams. So this person sees you as wish fulfillment. And they know they can have a very fortunate connection with you. They feel that you have worked very hard. You've, very, you, you've healed. You've transmuted negative energy. And now there's some sense of, like, being repaid, you know, being rewarded. You know, going through this startling metamorphosis, having this great awakening. I feel like this person sees you as very... Domestic, very practical, very resourceful, nurturing, caring, loving, kind, um, even communicative, honest. And this person is, you know, going to reach out. This person does want to be there for you. And I feel like you both, because you both have wealth, you both are very fortunate, very successful. This is going to be a very powerful union. Um, and they will be there for you. And I feel like this is leading to the door to personal healing and happiness. Like you're, you're, you're entering into a whole new life. You know, you've been on this spiritual journey for some time. Um, and I feel like now it's leading to some sort of um, new path. And I feel this person is transformed as well. I see a lot of butterflies. So I feel like their strength is, is um, their strength is building, you know, in terms of them coming towards you, being more assertive. They're going to be there for you. They're going to express. So why is spring completion? Take your power back. A thing can only distract you. Um, the ancestors are pleased. And um, do not settle here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios. And we have I can change. So somebody is trying to, you know, um, trying to convince you that they can change. And I feel like it's this person. Because remember, a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. So this past person that was playing a lot of games is going to try to come in and convince you that they can change. But I feel like the divine is telling you to trust your intuition. Situation's dead. You're not going. You're not going backwards. There's no forward. There's no backwards move. It's only only forward. This coffin is like the death to me. You know, this is like the death card. So this is your energy. So it's the death of something and the birthing of something new because even this 19 reduces to 10 10 reduces to 1 so that's like a new beginning you know having a brand new start and I feel like you know you're making a decision you know to finalize something this is the completion you know this is every ending you know denotes that brand new beginning and I feel like it's because you're making a decision
to not settle. You're no longer settling because you know your worth, you know your value, and you're receiving the divine downloads from spirit telling you to keep pushing, you know, to keep on pushing. Let me get one more message for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios. Let me get one more message for the outcome. Why is this spring? Do not settle. The ancestors are pleased. Think can only distract you. Here for our beloved Scorpios in completion. We get one more message, beloved spirit. We get one more message. So we have two. So we have toil and labor. And this was in reverse. So I feel like, you know, the end of all that hard work. Remember, like I said, you know, the seeds that you've planted, you know, during the winter and the, 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 the autumn and winter months, they will be blossoming during the springtime. So there will be like a brand new beginning. I feel like in the springtime is when this person will take action that's meant for you. Um, but you have the mature woman. So you have evolved into this very mature feminine energy. And the changes that you're making is going to um, propel someone to also make a change. Because I feel like you're in harmony, you're in peace, you're grounded, you know your worth, you know your value. And so now you're going to attract someone that's going to match your fly. You're going to attract someone vibrationally because you finally, you know, you're putting a death to you know having to work so hard you realize that you know relationships are reciprocal and so if someone's not willing to put in the energy the effort the time um into a connection the same as you then you're going to keep it pushing but i also feel like with this energy some of you all may be you know leaving a job and starting a fresh and new with i can change i do feel like you know someone is trying to plea you know make a plea like look i could change i could change my ways just give me another chance and I feel like y'all are going to be like, I'm done. It's dead. You know, this connection is dead. So next, we're going to get one more message. We're going to get some more messages from um, Goddess Guidance. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we have Mama Mama, Mama Ma'at. So fairness, things are going to be handled fairly justly. And we have purification. So that's the purge. That's the clean, clear, and cleanse energy. You know, that's detoxifying your body. That's doing spiritual baths. That's even, you know, saying that you're spending sacred time, you know, spending time by sacred spaces like bodies of water, you know, maybe out in nature, grounding yourself. So I have a card that flipped up. I just saw it. Oh, I got a couple of them. Okay. So we have high priestess. So you are, in fact, very intuitive, very psychic, very clairvoyant. So you are healers, shamans, and light workers. You know, you are a healer, shaman, light worker. So trust your own gut instinct. I feel like many of you, you know, you have become great healers because you've had to heal yourselves. And so you can ultimately help others. I feel like there's a lot of communication also happening in the dream world or, you know, either telepathically or intuitively. So trust that. I feel you're also, you know, taking more risks. You're being more daring. Um, and if you aren't, I feel like you're being told to do so. Um, we have Mama Lakshmi. She's telling you that there's a bright future ahead of you. So, you know, there's no need to worry. If some of you are worrying about the outcome or worrying about when love is coming in, just trust the process. Remember, everything happens in divine timing. You know, so this energy here is telling me that you have a bright future. We just celebrated Diwali. You know, so this is um, in Hindu culture, they practice uh, or they celebrate Diwali, which is literally like a celebration of the light overcoming the dark, you know, the good overcoming the bad. So they give homage and pay homage to all of their gods and goddesses um, and Lakshmi being one of them. So another card. So go outside. If you all have been holed up in the house, go outside, get some fresh air, breathe in some of that good ass prana, meditate under a tree, ground yourselves, kick your shoes off if it isn't too cold and just plant your feet in the solid ground or even on the asphalt and ground and connect. If you're feeling weighed down, heavy, low vibrational, you know, just kind of like go outside, get some of that raw, that sun will revitalize and rejuvenize you. Something is absolutely materializing. We have Slum Village playing the look of love. So I feel like, you know, some of you all, there's going to be someone that comes in and they're just going to remind you of love. They may speak your love language. They may have all of the, you know, qualities that you're seeking in a mate. So they're going to look like love. So just be mindful. 
and we have sensitivity. You're growing very sensitive. So be mindful of the people you're around, the food that you're eating, the type of relationships that you're cultivating. Because I feel like it's a time that you really need to sit in silence to connect with your higher self. You know, really to take that time to um, seek the answers internally opposed to externally. So even if you are seeking guidance, I feel like the divine is telling you, same as they did a couple readings ago, uh, to take some time out from the readings and to just go within. You know, some of you were asking, like, why haven't I been uploading? And it's because I, I'm obedient to the messages. When the divine says take a break from tarot, I'm not only telling you all that so you could do it. I'm also doing it myself because I, too, am a Scorpio. So the divine wants you to trust what you're feeling. You're going to receive some downloads from Christ consciousness. So, you know, there's a spiritual awakening and awareness, you know, and you have to take time away in order to hear it. So you got to get away from the noise, the distractions that's around you. And be mindful what you're eating. So with sensitivity here, White Tara. Let me get one more message for our beloved Scorpios. What's coming and going out going on? So just as I said, y'all are healers, shamans, light workers. And you're very intuitive, very psychic. You receive a lot of downloads, divine interventions. And you have peace here. So first you had Lakshmi promising a bright future, nothing to worry about. Now you have Irene. So many of you are enjoying your peace, your solitude, your serenity. You've created a safe haven. You're enjoying your sanctuary, you know, so you, you definitely, your children are well fed. You've gone through a major purification and transformation process. And I feel like you're being rewarded. You're being blissed and you've learned to co-create with source. You know, you've learned to co-create with source and you've created healthy boundaries, which is why you're now going to start, you know, receiving a lot of the blessings because it's there's no doubt about it that you're in the practice so as i said some of you are healers shamans light workers you could be reiki healers you could be scryers you could be cardomancers it came up in the reading with guidance so you could be psychics you could be channelers clairvoyance clairaudience so this is your energy beloved scorpios you have a very divine connection that's underway and I feel like because you both, y'all tend to be mirroring one another, your divine masculine or the yang to your yin, yin to your yang will be coming in and they're going to match your fly. They're going to speak your love language. They're going to be very communicative and they're also highly intuitive as well. And I feel financially you don't have anything to worry about because you received that great fortune. So I feel like, you know, whatever you're waiting for, if you are, you know, creative right now, working on business plans, you know, whatever you're doing, it's going to generate great fortune and you are showing up as this privileged lady. So that is an energy, you know, even if you're masculine, that privileged lady energy could be yours. So you are really mastering your craft and sharpening your sword. And I feel like the divine is saying the so the seeds that you're sowing will absolutely blossom and harvest and you will have great fortune. So continue working and mastering your craft, continue healing, um, continue doing your due diligence because someone is coming in that's matching your fly. Um, and I feel like this person um, is going to really, you know, excite you, you know, because this is like, you know, energy of someone that's very confident. Um, this is someone that's going to, you know, literally be like, you know, your suit. You know, I felt like, you know, this person's very mature. You know, they're not playing games. They're not into the games. So, you know, they're looking for someone, you know, on a serious level as well. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloveds, love is love is love. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. And definitely, um, you know, hit the like, share, subscribe if you feel so obliged. Um, but thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe to all of my beloveds. Peace.